Sussex students continue to excel more broadly on both the national and international stage. UniTV, for example, has won three awards this year at National Student TV Awards ceremonies. I think one of the coolest things about UniTV is they never just stop. They always want to make it a little bit better and make it a little bit more creative. It's always about high quality, good entertainment with UniTV. Every person that works for UniTV tries um, to give in as much as they can and we try to push them to produce their best. We're on beat, we're staying, we're staying, and we're cutting away again. We're on uh, it makes the students push the technical boundary and also push their creative boundaries. Okay, yeah, we can start. So is there any way to communicate to the live room or no? The one thing I quite like about UniTV is it seems to uh, feed itself. The energy and the enthusiasm comes from the students um, themselves and produces the, the content that we see. So there's a vibe going on um, and that, that didn't exist before in terms of the area that they're working in. Hello Sussex Student Television. We're I'm joined by Ram Singh, close friend of Gugget. Our productions have been nominated to the National and Locked Company for Uni TV. Some of Sussex's most driven students. Who are they? Let's rock and roll. Hello Sussex and welcome to yet another episode of Sus. And the Chinese Centre have teamed up with local schools to bring the residents of Brighton and Hove a taste of Chinese culture here at the Hove Town Hall. Hello Shun Television, we're here at Sussex Green Week and I'm joined now by a very special guest, Danny. Right now we're here outside Artse, where inside UK former Foreign Secretary Dave Miliband and Professor Tim Bell are discussing. Why are we outside? It's packed. I'm Zama and tonight we are at Comedia to check out the Culture Fest organized by the African, Caribbean and Asian Society. Our university has become home to the BBC's popular science show Bang Goes the Theory. A studio lab has been set up in a former nuclear bunker behind the medical school. My name is Lily Raw and I'm here outside the nursery at the University of Sussex. The nursery which opened in 1966 fears closure as potential financial providers, Bright Horizons, decide to withdraw. So Fair Trade Fortnite is here at Sussex. Make sure you take part and participate in everything that's happening this week and next week. I think one of the most memorable projects from last year for me was the impact report. It was a groundbreaking way to present your impact report. Previously they'd all been sort of paper files and long documents. Half of it was animated, half of it was uh, interviews and as far as I'm aware that was the first ever video based impact report of a student union activity in the UK. The very first experiment with live feeds we did was at the Students Union Awards last year, last May, where we had to set up a live broadcast with the technology that we had available, but considering the fact that no one from the team had any experience in setting up such feeds. And the winner is UniTV! UniTV was also awarded innovation in student media, and that gave us an incentive to work even more on our productions and try to innovate further. The main challenge I think you need to be faced since last year was the fact that almost all of our members uh, graduated from university and we needed to uh, create a strategy how to recruit new members. decided to completely change the appearance of UNTV so it, it would be a bit more catchy, accessible to students and also interesting to students. It was only four people working uh, on the Freshers' Week project which included uh, producing a video coverage of the, all, all events that happened during the week. To connect the bits together uh, we created the concept of Freshers' Box. I'm a fresher.
also created a marketing campaign uh, with a Freshers box, uh, which also included producing separate smaller videos for that campaign. We created a Facebook account for the Sussex Fresher box. We also had a stand at the Freshers Fair. Uh, UNTV was one of the most popular societies in terms of subscriptions to our mailing list. We've hosted a two-day training event. This year we have also established an executive committee which created a completely different workflow than the one we had last year. I'm head of marketing. And I'm the head of programming. I'm HR manager here at UNITV. I got involved with UNITV during Freshers Week when I saw the stand and I was really impressed by the level of quality that they were displaying other programs they'd already produced. So I signed up and I thought the station was so professional. I thought there's no way that they'd want someone as inexperienced as me. But then I became a part of it and I was just welcomed with open arms and that felt really special for me. We use Google Calendars, which we've synced with everyone's calendars within the university so that we have all their timings for their seminars and lectures and we know when they're available and free. If you do want to join UniTV, um, it helps to have experience, but it's probably the main thing is to have the drive and the enthusiasm for it. I think the UniTV team is very dynamic and that's what I love the most. Everyone is friends with each other, that makes a very good environment to work in. It's a really international team, so nobody feels left out at all. Everyone's from different corners of the world. to present a special broadcast in collaboration with the Students' Union. For the first time, you will be able to submit your questions online to our candidates for full-time officers. We had uh, 15 people involved in the production for over three days. It had not only given us an opportunity to work with a lot of equipment at the same time, but also to see what impact does our work have on the University and on the Students' Union. So many of these events that I've been covering I probably wouldn't have even heard about and I wouldn't have gone to but along the way I've met some really interesting people. Um, I've met Peter Tatchell, leading human rights campaigner. I keep bumping into the Mayor of Brighton all the time at different events. I'm a member of one society, UniTV, but I feel like I'm a member of ten because I've got myself involved in so many societies and events through UniTV. Mr. Milliban, in places like Sussex, why do you feel it's important to come and uh, reach the student crowd? I think this is the next generation. This is the hotbed of radicalism from the 1960s and so it's quite interesting to come and find out what students are thinking now. So we've been working with the university to try and make it so that students can see those exam papers again. Here on campus there are a lot of stories that we don't always get the chance to hear about, like this one. I think one of the really positive outcomes from having Uni TV as a society here at Sussex has been the sheer fact that it's allowed students to do things they may not have otherwise had a chance to do. I think Uni TV is a really good creative outlet, particularly if you're studying um, quite an uh, academic subject. At Uni TV, you're guaranteed to have people who are actually willing to invest the hours to make media happen. Even though we're a student TV station, we, we try to produce broadcast quality material. Generally, I could say that we are perfectionists in a good sense of the word. We've recently reached 25,000 views on our YouTube account and are now growing at a rate of 100 views per day. We also worked at Brighton Racecourse, Brighton Dome, Sydney City Film Festival, and recently with BBC.